is INC Now. Right now, investigators are in the middle of the autopsy for nine-year-old Aliana Lemon, whose remains were found last night, as a family friend who was babysitting her appears in court charged with her murder. Good afternoon. I'm Corinne Rose. We begin our team coverage of this developing and disturbing story with Max Resnick, who is standing by live at the Sheriff's Office at the Allen County Courthouse. We need to warn you, many of the details you will hear in the next few minutes are highly disturbing. Max, good afternoon. What happened when Mike Plumador appeared in court this morning? Good afternoon, Corinne. Uh, well, as you stated, he did appear in court uh, in an orange clad jumpsuit, uh, standard issue at the jail. He had handcuffed uh, from his hands to his feet. He was formally read the charge of murder. Uh, he was asked if he understood that charge. He simply replied, yes. The whole uh, proceedings took only about a minute, and then we received the probable cause. And as you mentioned, Corinne, the details of this probable cause are extremely graphic. And uh, we would advise that if any young children are around, to please uh, have them turn away. Um, Mike Pomodor uh, struck Aliana in the head multiple times with a brick Thursday morning, killing her. He then brought her body inside his trailer uh, where he dismembered her. Now, some parts of Aliana's body were put in freezer bags and taken to uh, a dumpster not too far from the trailer. Uh, he then decided to keep her head, hands, and feet in the freezer in his trailer. Uh, he's now sitting in Allen County Jail. Uh, joining me now to discuss uh, how this case has proceeded and, and what the last few days have been like is Allen County Sheriff Ken Freeze. Ken, uh, during the press conference just about a half hour ago, you said that you knew it was Palmador. You knew in your gut why. There were too many inconsistencies. You know, having done this job for 29 years, when you hear a story that just doesn't make sense, there's a reason it doesn't make sense. Usually it's because it's untruthful. And in listening to what happened that very night from his words, he was a prime suspect as far as I was concerned from the beginning. And our detectives did a great job focusing on that. He, admitting, he admitted to killing Aliana. What was it like interviewing him? What was his demeanor like uh, both in your interviews and during the polygraph, which took place last night? Watching the detectives uh, on the television while they were doing it, he was very factual. Uh, the detectives did an excellent job along with the FBI doing the interviews. Uh, he was just very factual about what involvement he had. Uh, talk about uh, the mindset of your officers when they see something as graphic and as horrific as this. What is going through their head? Because after all, they have families as well. Yeah, they have to focus on the job and, and deal with the emotions later because they have a job to do. That's what the society pays them to do is their job and be professional about it. And, uh, and it's difficult for them. And, and, and final question, um, certainly this is not the resolution we were looking for, but there is some resolution in this case. How important is that? It's important for the family and I think it's important for the officers. At least we have somebody we can charge. We know that there's not a little nine-year-old laying out there someplace and um, we've done a good job. It's just not, the, like you say, the outcome we hope for. Thank you, Sheriff Ken Freeze uh, with the Allen County Sheriff's Department, Corinne. Um, and of course, uh, we expect uh, Mike Palmador to be uh, in court on Friday. And Max, is there any indication at all? I know that you were at the news conference when uh, Mike Alex McAlexander from the prosecutor's office was there just about an hour ago. Any indication at all as to what the motive might possibly have been for this? Uh, yeah, that's, that's something, of course, that was brought up. That was the very first question asked in that press conference, and the motive uh, really cannot be discussed yet, uh, of course, as they build their case, uh, which begins on Friday. Uh, they said that they will not be discussing any motive yet uh, and, and not releasing one at this time. Okay, Max Resnick live at uh, the Allen County Courthouse. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it.